was uh, in Los Angeles in my um, junior year of dental school, and I was asked by the law enforcement down there, the police officers, to put together a program for uh, police officers, especially new ones coming out of the academy that were dying in the streets because they didn't have a healthy way of embracing fear. I never said, I think I'm going to go into the speaking industry and create programs that's going to transform people's lives, you know. I was a sport fighter back then. I put myself to school by being a boxer, which is really weird to be a health professional, you know, that knocks people out at night, you know. In fact, it was called, you know, the guy who knocks them out at night and then fixes them during the day. If I was going to teach people to embrace fear in a healthy way, I needed to learn to do that for myself. And I also needed to do it in a manner that would replicate the situations in a safe environment so that they could feel the feeling but not have the consequence of making the wrong action where they could rearrange their conscious decisioning, which means providing options. So I was 24 years old. I was a dental student working with 134 hardcore police officers who would question my expertise in this area. But when they went through these series of exercises that I designed, where they were able to rearrange their perception and go to the subconscious and literally shift how they dealt with this, it bled into other areas of their lives. The kind of questioning I would get at a 24-year-old kid who didn't really know much was not about how to be a good police officer. It was questions about their relationships, their home life, the desires that they want to fulfill. It had nothing to do with law enforcement. It had everything to do with personal growth. And that's when I finally started to get a sense of there's a message here somewhere. And then I found out there was a bigger calling. And I started to listen to that calling. And that's when I knew maybe I'm not going to be a dentist the rest of my life. Maybe I'm going to be a messenger for this particular message that so many of the thought leaders today are moving forward with to, to make this world a better place. And it starts with fear. Fear will wake you up. It'll get your attention. And that's what the Ignite program is about.